Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the Hiya Toys Exquisite Mini Alien vs. Predator AVP Warrior. Um, here he is in the packaging. As you can see, he is a window box packaging with a product shot of the figure right down there. It just says Warrior, but we all know this is a Xenomorph Warrior. Um, some warnings and stuff there in, in small letters. You also kind of make out a uh, an alien uh, photo there as well as a, uh, a uh, predator photo there. On this side of the packaging you have an alien, Hyatt Toys AVP. That side you have Predator, Hyatt Toys AVP, AVP on the top, AVP on the bottom, on the back. Some legal mumbo jumbo as well as two more product shots of the figure himself on the back. Without further ado, let's get him out of the packaging and see how cool he actually is. Um, it is taped closed originally, but I have cut the tape and removed the figure prior to the review just so that I can heat up his joints with a hair dryer. And that is something I highly recommend everybody do with Hiya Toys. Um, there is an insert card here, which is pretty badass. I, I really am a fan of this. As a matter of fact, um, for some of my shots, I could probably put this in the background, uh, especially down like one of these corridors, and it'll look like an entryway into that particular um, chamber. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna actually get some use out of these, out of this at least. Now, as I mentioned a second ago, I did pre heat up the figure prior to review using a hair dryer. Um, the two areas that you want to focus on mostly with these aliens figures um, are the elbows and ankles I find are the most fragile as far as hinge joints go. You just want to be careful with those. Um, but before we have a look at the figure himself, we're going to have a look at his accessories. He does come with two alternate sets of hands. Now, as I've mentioned before, with the alien figures, you don't really get um, any grasping hands or anything like that. You basically get outstretched claws or relaxed claws. Um, so, that being said, uh, these don't appear to have any paint applications on them. It's just like black claws, no silver on, on the uh, fingernails or anything like that. Um, he does have four fingers where most of the aliens I've reviewed normally had either three or six, um, he's got four. Yeah, another offshoot of the alien uh, xenomorph pack. Uh, he does have quite a different, quite a bit different sculpt too, which I will show off in a minute because I, uh, I still have the other alien I reviewed recently out. Um, he does have this great which has a, a nice rust color to it for like a, a wash effect. It's got a single foot peg and it does have these notches on the bottom which you can use these H-shaped brackets if I can get one out of the packaging. I have no fingernails so that makes this kind of tricky for me. There we go. So they, it comes with these H-shaped brackets that you can stick in into these slots not actually very tight in that one. Not very tight in any of them. Huh. It's the first time I've encountered that with a with a high toys base. This thing's not fitting in there snugly. Huh. Alright, well, anyhow, you can usually peg them together to create a floor. It'll still work because there's enough friction involved to hold it in place but usually it fits in there a little bit more snug. But still, I think that's a that's an awesome feature. I mean, figure bases are always a plus with these figures because as adult collectors, we always stick them up on a shelf and forget about them. We want them to stand, we don't want them to fall over. But having the figure bases actually create a floor like that actually adds to the display. So I think that's really cool. Let me put this away. Have a look at the figure himself. The sculpt and paint on him. Um, he is distinctly different from the uh, 
the uh, Aliens and Alien um, movie versions of the Xenomorph that I've reviewed so far. He's got like a much more... Um, he's, he just looks beefier to me. Uh, like if, if I was going to think that a guy it was in a rubber suit, it would definitely be uh, the, this version. This guy is not quite as uh, slender as the other alien figures are, as you can see. But anyhow, he has slightly different articulation because of it as well. Uh, I like his tail though. He's got like a, a flare on the end of his tail that the other ones don't. These spines. He's got fewer uh, back um, spines as well. Pretty cool. All right, so anyway. He has some subtle paint applications on him. Um, very, very subtle. Um, for the most part, it looks like molded plastic, but you can definitely tell they used a, a brownish dry brush on him just to make the, uh, the details pop, which is something I can appreciate. Definitely brings out the sculpt, which is nice. Um, he has painted silver teeth, which is pretty cool. His jaw does open. And his double jaws do slide out. And they also have painted silver teeth, which is nice. His neck, base of the neck is where he has his articulation. He can go some side to side. He can look up slightly and down slightly. Although it wants to pop back up because of the shape of his neck. Arms can go in flat against the body. They can go up, rotate all the way around. Elbows, again, a point you wanna be careful with because it's so uh, slender, but they do spin a full 360 and they do bend flat and uh, yeah, we'll call that about 90 degrees. There's a little bit of uh, plastic flash on there as you can see but that's okay. Um, hands are connected via a very tiny ball joint, so you wanna be careful when you swap the hands out. Just basically spin them around a few times, it'll heat it up enough to get them off of that peg. But as you can see, it's a very, very tiny, tiny peg and ball joint. So you do wanna be very careful and not apply too much pressure onto the hands. But they offer a decent range of motion, like get some wiggle room out of them and spin them, obviously. He has a, uh, a diaphragm joint up here. Offers a great range of motion there. Even twist from side to side, which is excellent. He does have drop down hips. It didn't look like it at first, but he does, which is great. He can kick his leg up very high, as you can see. Back very far, as you can see. Can't really do the splits though because of the way his hips are designed. They, they flare out. So you can't really get splits out of him, but he can spread his legs about that far for a wide stance. Knees, double jointed, but because of the shape of his calf here, can't really go all the way back. You're gonna get back about that far. Ankles, again, it's a point that you wanna be careful with. They do have a rocker joint, so they can spin back and forth, but you just, have to apply a decent amount of pressure just to get that hinge going. I did loosen mine up quite a bit with the hair dryer, but again, there's still a little stiff. So I could go a little bit more, I guess. Last but not least, he has a tail, which is made from a bendable plastic and has a wire inside, so it'll hold whatever pose you stick it in, which is awesome. Very, very cool. And that's about it for his articulation and his sculpt are both fantastic. Um, Hyatt Toys in general are excellent figures, but, and their price point is, is very reasonable in my opinion. Um, but you do wanna be careful with them right out of the packaging. They are fragile. You do want to uh, heat up those joints before you mess with them too much. All right, so anyway, 
Here's another side-by-side -side comparison with that original Alien figure from Aliens. This is just the regular Alien Warrior versus the Alien versus Predator Warrior, so you can see them side-by-side. -side. There are very, very noticeable differences between the two. So it's not just a, a reuse of the sculpt or a repaint, it's a brand new figure. Let's have a look with him next to a vintage uh, collection Star Wars figure, Luke. So you can see how he measures up. As you can see, he's noticeably taller, which he should be, because I believe in Aliens lore, they're about seven feet tall. If I'm mistaken, let me know in the comments section. And forgive me if you've, if you've corrected me before. I make a couple of these videos uh, in one day and then I post them. So chances are I, I read your initial reply correcting me and I just uploaded this video without editing it. My bad. So anyway, here is a uh, vintage collection. Looks uh, vintage collection. Um, vintage Snake Eyes figure from the original G.I. Joe line. Also three and three quarter inches. More modern G.I. Joe figure, Cobra Trooper from Dollar General. A true four inch figure, Boss Fight Studio Blank. Marvel Universe Captain America. and Master Chief. Now I do have him crouched down a little bit. If I had him standing straight up, he would be about the same height as the Master Chief. So anyhow, this has been my review of the Alien vs. Predator warrior figure from Hyatt Toys. I think he's awesome. Um, I'm, I, I'm definitely digging this line. Uh, I think it's, it's great if you're a fan of the franchise, Alien or Predator, the Hyatt toys are definitely something you should be checking out. Same with RoboCop, too. They did an excellent job with the RoboCop figures I had. But uh, anyway, definitely something you should be checking out. Um, this figure, even though it's a warrior figure from yet another alien movie, it is a brand new sculpt, and it is very true to the way they looked in that film, from what I can tell. Uh, I think they did a great job. So, and if you're interested, I got this guy off of Big Bad Toy Store, where he's probably still available if you look. Um, he was right around the $20, $21 price point, which I think is very reasonable for what you're getting. Um, again, just be careful with his joints out of the uh, packaging. You want to heat up the, uh, the elbows and the ankles especially. Be careful with the hands when you swap them out, and uh, I think you'll be good. So, this has been AB. If you like this video, check out my channel where you'll see a whole bunch of other 118th scale content, figures, vehicles, and accessories, you name it, as well as a few comic books here and there. Um, if you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.